This is David and Lori with Acme Cider in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We're a new craft uh, hard cidery, and to maximize our budget, we're trying to figure out how to make a uh, sanitizer that could do a bunch of bottles at, at the same time. As most of you probably have done, you put them in a bucket or a tray, and you do them one at a time, and it's really a pain in the ass. So I looked at a bunch of designs on the Internet, and I've got a pretty big shop. I designed Airstream's 75th anniversary trailer. I got a lot of tools, but you really don't need a whole lot of tools to make this. You just need some tools to make it uh, accurate. So let's uh, look at the design, and uh, you can evaluate it and decide if it's something you'd like to make or it's, you think it's a piece of crap. So here we go. First off, we decided to put it into an uh, industrial cart. Most people have put them into uh, like Tupperware containers, and we wanted something that could be portable that we could roll around and uh, store when we weren't using it, and plus we didn't have to uh, disassemble it. So it's sort of a self-contained unit. The rack sit in the top. It's got like a three and a half inch basin around the top. I bored an, um, an inch and a half hole through the top and countersunk a uh, chrome tailpiece uh, like a, a, from a sink. So the water has plenty of uh, opportunity to go back into the uh, tray below. So let's walk, I'll get a little closer and we take a look at the design. There's, we based the design on the fast rack bottle system. It's, a, it's really a good tray. It's, it's really heavy and uh, it's, a, it's a great design. In order to use it, we decided that we, well, not decided, it had to be uh, put into a uh, stout receptacle so they didn't move around once you're hurt in a hurry p picking up bottles and putting them on top of this thing. So in order to do that, they, went, they, they index into, I think it's an inch and a half PVC that I used. And the, the secondary problem is you need to keep these from moving. So I bored holes through the, uh, the sides of them. You can see them in, on the bottom. And I used a 5 8 hole saw bit and a drill press. But the problem is a 5 8 bit is a little big, and it was sloppy, and we needed really a tight fit. So I, while that bit was on the drill press, I took a flap sander and a right angle grinder and took the outside hook off the bit, and that made the hole really snug. And so these things go through. It took a lot of physical effort to slide those on there, and once they're in the proper spot to receive the fast rack, they don't move. The uprights that shoot the water are uh, half a quarter inch pecs, and it's a press fit. It's a three inch hole into the half inch pipe, and it's really tight. There's, you can't use an adhesive anyway. Nothing sticks to pecs. Uh, and they, there's no way they're coming out. Like the, uh, the half-inch PVC I put through the uprights, it's really tight. It takes a lot of effort to put it in. And you, you can manhandle them after they're in there. The blue tips are quarter-inch, uh, what was that, oh, pneumatic tube. I snipped off a bunch of uh, pneumatic tube. It doesn't fit into the pecs, so you have to take heat. Uh, I use the outside edge of a... Uh, acetylene torch and warmed them up and then put the tips in. When they cool, that pex shrinks around that uh, pneumatic tube and they do not move. They're, they're in there forever. And then I just snipped them off in a saw all the, uh, so they're all the same length. The one on the left that uh, holds 22 ounce bombers is really powerful. It'll shoot the water up at least a foot. We don't have any bombers to put on it, but trust me, it's, it's really powerful. Why don't we turn on the pump? The right side that holds uh, 12s is the same thing. It's got blue tips on the in, inserted into the pecs, and we heated those up a little bit and squashed them, so we got a little extra pressure because there's a lot of openings. Ooh, See, this goes, it's pretty efficient. It's powerful. The pump's powerful enough. It's a small pond pump. It's, it's powerful enough to uh, run both at the same time, or both sides at the same time. Boom. Yeah. Uh, we snipped the cord to the uh, pump, 
put on a switch so you don't have to plug this thing in when you want to use it. You just have to make sure you don't pour a bunch of water over the switch. That would be Lori's problem. She'd be on the floor sh shaking if that happened. I'll get some other shots of this thing. It has a... Uh, Both sides are independent of each other. It has a, a common feed line, two inexpensive ball valves, Tupperware bottom, obviously. We think it works pretty well. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, uh, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to help you if you would. If you want to make something like it and you're not real sure how to do it, uh, send me a note and I'll give you some basics on how to do it. You will need a drill press. Um, if you do it by hand to drill these holes, it's going to be pretty shabby. Even the best um, craftsman it can't beat a drill press. So there you have it. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. Bye, Acme Cider. Bye.